Okay, part two. Now, for a man who wants to get a woman's attention, it can be tough, brother. <laughs> it really can. And unfortunately, I don't know you directly and I don't know her directly. So it's hard to say just completely. But there's a couple of things that will work in general. Just like I told our sisters, find out what she's into. This actually isn't quite as important with a woman. It's a strange thing. I mean, if she's into, I don't know, Twilight, right? Don't just suddenly be like, oh my god, I'm on Team Edward or I'm on Team Jacob. Um, she may grow suspicious of you, dude. Unless you really do like Twilight. Now, this might seem like a double standard. Why did I tell the women to ask about what the guys like and not tell you to ask about what she likes? For a reason. For a man, if a woman walks up to you and says, Wow, did you see what George St. Pierre did to Dan Hardy at the last Ultimate Fighting Championship? She just goes up like three points on the hotness scale. Like the curve, she's just been <laughs> bumped over a little bit, right? But for a woman, it just depends. It just depends what you're talking about. And don't lie. Don't lie. If you're really into Twilight, and she's really into Twilight, then by all means, be like, I am absolutely into Twilight. But if you're faking, she's going to know. See, if a woman's faking to a guy, he's just going to think it's awesome. If a guy's faking to a woman, she's going to think lame. Okay? So you have to be careful. Okay? But... Where you wanted to make a man feel like strong and important and kind of build up his ego, you want to make a woman feel special. Make her feel special. Make her feel pretty. Find the nicest thing about her and say something nice to her about it. Now, again, I'm not saying to point out certain aspects of her body because that's not going to work. But if you if you know if she gets her hair done, notice Notice, you'd be surprised how often guys don't do this. A woman changes her hair and you go, oh, wow, well, you changed your hair, that's great. Even if it's not somebody you're trying to be romantically involved with, she will think so much higher of you that you just took the time to notice, that you just cared, that she's doing something different, okay? Or if she's got a nice outfit on and you really think it's a nice outfit, you'd be like, wow, it's a great dress, I like that dress, that's a good color on you. And that's it, okay? Now, if you remember the movie Dune, uh, there was a line from the movie that said, the slow blade penetrates. I'm not going to give you the whole backstory on it, but it's just for the most part, slow and steady wins the race. For the most part. It is much easier to come on too strong than not come on strong enough, okay? Now, we've talked about the friend zone before. This is a strange thing. And ladies, let me explain this to you. If you've got male friends and they are single, and they are hetero, and you're attractive, for the most part, they're willing to sleep with you. For the most part. There's always going to be variables. I know. But when you're like, oh no, he wouldn't want that. He's like a brother to me. Ah, uh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay? Now, you on the other hand, when you're like, he's like a brother, you really mean that. I mean, he can be cute, he can be successful, he can be funny, he can have every character trait that you want. And if it's just not there, it's just not there. And that's why I don't like, uh, like, romance movies, to tell you the truth. Like, uh, chick flicks. I didn't talk about this before, but let me tell you why. It's an illusion. It's an illusion that just any guy can take any woman that bears, like, all this contempt for him and suddenly win her over in, like, two and a half hours. No, 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 no. There's some guys that are just never going to get some girls. And there's some girls that are never going to get some guys. Now, I'm not talking about you. And I'm not talking about him. And I'm not talking about her. I'm saying other people. You, you're hot, sexy, great, fantastic. And if he doesn't want you, or she doesn't want you, she's dumb, okay? But I'm talking about other people, okay? There are some no-win situations. Now, if you're not sure how to approach that special someone, find me. Contact me. I help people with this all the time. You can find me, B. Dave Walters. I'm on Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, YouTube, my website, PeaceLoveMoney.com. Or send me a question through Formspring. In fact, if you can find me on Facebook, that's usually where I'm easiest to locate. I've actually done this for people, where they'll open up chats with that special someone, 
and they'll just copy and paste what the person says to me and then copy and paste what I say back. I've gotten so many people, so many dates <laughs> doing this. Because it's just being able to talk, keep it fun, keep it light. And this is good advice for both men and women. Keep it fun. Don't get too emotional. Don't get too intense. Don't get too down. You be the person that when they see you, they go, oh, hey. That's what you want, okay? Make them laugh. If you make a woman laugh, honestly, even if you make a man laugh, but especially if you make a woman laugh, you're moving in the right direction, okay? Make her feel special. Make her, make her laugh, okay? Heading in the right direction. Number three. Listen. Listen. Oh, my God, listen. Okay? Guys, you know, I had a meeting. I had a meeting with the ladies, and they told me they wanted me to tell you guys Listen, because you don't, okay? I know. Now, fellas, I know what you're thinking, and I told it, I said it to them when they asked me about it. I was like, yeah, but you guys kind of talk a lot. Um, and they didn't care. It does not matter. They said, listen anyway. Because here's the thing. For the most part, the things people are saying are important to them, both men and women. The things that come out of our mouths are important to us. And so when another person, it just kind of bounces off of them, that's bad for business. So if you're already in a relationship, by the way, remember I said at the beginning, if you can't communicate, you don't have anything. If you cannot talk to your partner, you don't have a relationship, okay? If you can't tell them your genuine, deepest, most heartfelt feelings about any topic, your relationship is at least damaged, if not maybe fatally damaged, okay? It just depends. Now, if you hate his mom, maybe you should just make it known that you're like, um, your mom and I don't really get along and we don't have to speak about it anymore. If you try and convince him that his mom is a terrible person and an evil witch, that's probably not going to work out because boys love their mommies. Same vice versa. You know, if you're, she's a daddy's girl and you think her dad is kind of a jerk, probably not going to sell her on the jerkdom, but you can tell her. It's like, you know what? We just don't click. We kind of got a oil and water thing coming on. I'll see him at Christmas and Thanksgiving. Otherwise, you know, don't call me for golf, right? Or things about children, religion, uh, whether or not you're even in a relationship. This happens a lot where it's like, well, I don't know if he likes me. Uh, does he say he likes you? No. Have you asked? No. Ask. What is this? 12th grade? You know, I mean, if you got a person that you've been talking to for a while or you've gone out on a couple of dates with and unless they've said something to you like, I'm never going to marry you, then you can kind of pry it a little bit to see, you know, what what's going on. You know, I mean, you never really go wrong with, you know, how do you feel about me? You know, how, just, just tell me how you feel about me. Oh, Fellas, by the way, if you don't know that somebody's got a uh, girlfriend, and actually, ladies, you can use this one also. If you're not sure if someone's single, and even though people miss my ring all the time, check guys' hands, girls. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> and I'll mention being married, and people are like, ooh, you're married? I'm like, it's, it's right here. Even if they take it off, if they're, if they're shady like that, it's like a big old tan line and like a big dent, okay? So if he's got the dent in the tan line, do not trust him. But anyway, if you're trying to figure out whether or not somebody's in a relationship, this is how you ask. Ready? Men and women. Got your pens? Ready. What's your boyfriend's name? What's your girlfriend's name? That's it. Universal. Because if he's all like, oh, her name is Sally, then you're like, he's not single. Check that off the list. And you haven't exposed yourself in any way. But if you're like, what's your boyfriend's name? She's like, oh, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm not seeing anybody right now. Blood in the water, dude. Now you got an opportunity. Now you got a game. You know, the field is out there. The stage is set for you to make your move. Okay? Now, <laughs> I said before that every woman I've ever had I took from someone else. And that is true. <laughs> And I apologize for that, but I never cheated. I never cheated. I never cheated with anybody or on anybody. But I got about 30 seconds left, so I cannot teach you how to take someone's man or woman. Um, and karmically, I probably shouldn't anyway. So I'm going to stop talking before I say the wrong thing. But welcome aboard. Welcome to the new column. Thank you for reading. Make sure you click subscribe up at the top. You're great, and I love you. We're going to have a lot of fun together. Message me at formspring.me. Bye-bye.